the total expense of a boarding house are partly fixed and partly vary linearly with the number of boarders. Right? So the total expense in a boarding house is partly fixed and it partly varies linearly with the number of boarders. Right? The average expenditure per boarder is Rs. 700 when there are 25 boarders and Rs. 600 when there are 50 boarders. What is the average expense per boarder when there are 100 boarders? All right. So basically he has given us uh, one statement which says the total expense is partly fixed and it partly varies linearly with the number of boarders. The average expenditure per border is rupees 700 when there are 25 borders. So average expenditure is 700 when there are 25 borders. It is rupees 600 when there are 50 borders. He is asking us to find out the average expense per border when there are 100 borders. Okay. So let's let's try this out. Now understand the total expense is partly fixed. So there is a fixed component and then there is a variable component. And this variable component, this variable component V here is proportional to the number of borders. Is proportional to the number of orders, right? It is partly, I mean, there is a fixed component and there is a variable component, and this variable component varies linearly with the number of borders. Varies linearly with the number of borders means what? Proportional to the number of borders. So, more the number of borders, more will be the variable. Less the number of borders, less will be the variable. Okay. Now, this can actually be taken as, you know, V, the variable can be taken as K into B, where K is some constant multiplied by the number of borders. So, if you put this back into the first equation, what do we get? We get the total expenditure as F, that fixed component, plus KB. F plus KB. So, this is what you got to understand. Right? The total expense will be a fixed component plus K times the number of borders, where K is a constant. Alright? Now, if you uh, look at the two cases given to us, the average expenditure per border is rupees 700 when there are 25 borders. Average expenditure is rupees 700 when there are 25 borders. See, if average is 25, sorry, if average is equal to 700 and number of borders is equal to 25, so can we say the total expenditure is 700 into 25? We are trying to use this equation, right? The total expenditure T is average into the number of persons. So 700 into 25 equals to, let the fixed cost be F plus the constant BK and number of borders anyway is 25. So that's one equation. Similarly, we know that the average will be 600 when there are 50 borders, when the number of borders is equal to 50. So, you know, in a similar fashion, we can say 600 times 50, which is 30,000, will be equal to the fixed component F. See, F is fixed. It does not change, right? F plus K also is a constant into the number of borders, which is 50 now. So, if you see from the given data, we have been able to frame two equations. The first equation is 700 into 25 which is F plus 25K. And the second equation is 600 into 50, which is F plus 50K. Now, two equations and two unknown values. What are the two unknown values? F and K. Right? F and K are the two unknown values. So, can you solve these two equations to find out what F and K are? Yes, you can do that. Once you get F and K, you can substitute those values of F and K in this equation. So, you'll get to know that the total equals to whatever fixed cost plus K times the number of borders. Now, he's asking us to find out the average when there are 100 borders. So you calculate F and K from the first two equations. So F and K can be substituted. B is equal to 100 is given in the question itself. Can we find out the total expenditure? Yes. And once you get the total expenditure, divide by 100 to get the average expenditure. Remember, he's asking us to find out the average expense. Average expense per border. He's not asking us to find out the total expense. What we get here is the total expense. But then get the total expense and from that find out the average expense. Okay. So try and solve this solve the first two equations what happens see f anyway gets cancelled right f gets cancelled what do we have now 600 into 50 is 30,000 700 into 25 700 into 25 is what 14,000 plus 3,500 17,500 so 30,000 minus 17,500 I'm doing the calculation directly 30,000 this is 30,000 this is 17,500 what is the difference 12,500 that 12,500 is equal to f minus f gets cancelled right 0. 50k minus 25k. It is 25k. So from this, we can say k is equal to 12,500 by 25, which comes out to be 500. So basically, the value of k is 500. Now that we know what is k, can you not substitute this back in either equation 1 or equation 2 to find out the value of f? Yes, substitute. Let's substitute here. So what will be the value of f from this one? f will come out to be what? See, k is 500. 500 into 50. 500 into 50 is how much? 25,000, right? 
All right, this method is correct, absolutely correct. You don't have to write all these steps, right? Cut down all, all the unnecessary steps here so that you get the answer faster. Like you don't have to write T equals to F plus V, V is proportional to B, V equals to KB and all that, right? You can directly write this equation. And then you can directly frame the two equations, solve to get the values of F and K. However, there is a better way of getting the answer. There's a better way of getting the answer. How do we do that? Simple. Try and focus on a few things here. We know that the average per border is 700 when there are 25 borders and the average is 600 when there are 50 borders. Now see how do we do it in a smart way. So 700 into 25 is 17,500. Yes or no? The total expenditure is 17,500 for 25 people and the total expenditure is 650, 30,000 for 50 people. You are able to follow? So if, if I have to write this, let me use a different color so that I can highlight this smart method here, right? I would need some space by the way. Let, let me just clear this up. I hope all of you followed this. Let, let me explain the smart method now. So basically we know that the total expenditure T is the fixed part plus the variable part, right? This equation you keep in mind. Now from the question, we know that the average is 700 or uh, for, for 25 persons, it comes out to be 17,500. For 50 persons, it comes out to be 30,000, right? What is it for 100 persons is the question. Now, one simple point to be noted is, we know that in this 17,500, there is a fixed component. And the same fixed component also exists for 30,000. Yes or no? Same fixed component also exists for 30,000. Like this F and F, right? Both are available in these numbers. Like for example, for example, let us say the fixed component is 10,000. So what, what does it mean for 25 people, 10,000 is fixed plus 7,500 is variable. For 50 people, 10,000 is fixed plus 20,000 is variable. You're getting it. Whatever is that fixed component, based on that we can do the calculation. Right, F and F is available in both the cases. Now the point is, if you observe, when we go from 25 persons to 50 persons, what is the increment? 25 more persons have joined. Yes or no? 25 to 50. 25 people have joined. How much is the increment in the expenditure? 17,500 has become 30,000. 17,500 has become 30,000 means what? Increment is how much? 12,500. Which means with the addition of 25 people, the expenditure has gone up by 12,500. With the addition of 25 people, the expenditure has gone up by 12,500. Now try to understand this this why why is the expenditure gone up this this component has to be understood because we know that there is a variable part also and that variable part it depends linearly on the number of persons right it is linear it is linearly proportional to the number of persons so by that logic for 25 people if the expenditure has gone up by 12500 from 50 to 100 how many people have increased 50 people have increased yes or no from 25 to 50 there were 25 more people joining the group from 50 to 100 there are 50 more people joining the group now we know that this variable, this, this is a variable component, understand 12,500 is a variable component. This variable component is proportional to the number of persons. 
So for 25 people, if it is 12,500, for 50 people, it should be double, which will be 25,000. You're getting it? 25 people join, 12,500 is a variable. If 50 more people join, it will be double. 25 doubles 50, 12.5 doubles 25. So I can say that the increment will be 25k. The increment will be 25k. Like here the increment was 12.5k. Here the increment is going to be 25k. With respect to the previous value. So this question mark here can be taken as 30,000 plus 25,000. How much is that? 55,000. This 55,000 is for how many people? For 100 people, remember. For 100 people. For 100 people, it is 55,000. What is he asking us to find out? Average. You know that average is total amount divided by number of people. So 55,000 average will come out to be 55,000 divided by 100, which is 550. All right. So 550 is the answer. Same answer we have got here, 550. Okay, and then there's nothing to be put on paper. I mean, I am trying to explain this in detail. So I've written all the steps. This is all mental calculation, right? 25 people increase to 50 people. Expenditure increased by 12,500, which means for by adding 25 more people in the group, we are incurring 12,500 rupees extra cost. So by adding 50 people, we'll incur 25,000 rupees extra cost. So 30,000 plus 25,000, 55,000 divided by 100, 550 will be the final answer.